So let us now look at a simple program where we are accepting two values, okay? Because we are going to accept two integer values, I am saying percentage %d, percentage %d and the two variables. So now I am going to say swap, okay, a comma b. Then I am printing the values. I'll give a space. So now I'm going to have the swap function. So it is not going to return anything. So int a comma int b. So here I'm going to write the normal logic. Int temp is equal to a. So whatever you took the backup, you have to replace in the next line. Here you have taken the backup of a in temp, so a is equal to b, and then b is equal to temp. So now, if you observe, the value must be swapped and printed. So let us execute the program. So we are giving the values 700 and 900. But the program is printing 700 and 900 only. But we will be expecting 900, 700. So what is the reason? Let me explain. So here, let us say a is equal to 700 and b is equal to 900. So you are passing a is equal to 700 and b is equal to 900 in this swap. So here, a will be assigned the value 700 and b will be 900. Now you are saying temp is equal to a. So temp equal to 700. And then a is equal to b. So a will be b which is 900. And then b is equal to temp. So the temp value is 700. Obviously it is interchanging the values that is swapping the values. But when you are printing here it still prints 700 and 900 only. What is the reason? Because these values here, whatever we have, temp a, b, they are allocated in stack in a different memory space for the swap function. So now let us draw the memory diagram like this, okay? So this is the memory allocated for main function. So here you have a is equal to 700 and b is equal to 900. So here you are invoking the swap function. So this swap function is not an inbuilt function but it is our own custom function written here. So the memory will be allocated for swap. So here again because you are declaring two variables here a is equal to 700 b is equal to 900. The important point to notice, because you hear it is a call by value to the stack, the memory allocated to this variable a and b is not pointing to the memory allocated to the variables a and b in the main function. It is a totally a different thing, right? So now you are saying temp is equal to a. So temp is equal to 700. And then a is equal to b. So this will be changed to 900. And then b is equal to temp. So this will be changed to 700. So now after the swap, the control is coming back here to line number 14. So there it is printing a and b. But now we are in the main function. So what is the value of a and b? It is only 700, 900. So this swapping is not going to reflect in the main function. So that is the reason here only 700, 900 is printed even though the swapping happens in the swap function. So to test this, let us have a print in the swap function. So now in the swap function, let us print the value. We'll give a new line also, okay, to separate. So now you can have a, b. So now let's execute the program. We are giving 700 and 900. So here, 
you can see that the value is reversed in the first print because the first print where is it happening in line number 8 it is happening okay so the first print is happening in line number 8 where you can see that the values are swapped but after the swap function the control comes to line number 15 where the original order that is 700 900 is printed so now how should i ensure that the changes done in a function is reflected in the main function so in that case you should be passing the address so you have to say ampersand a and ampersand b so because you are passing the address this should be an int pointer okay so you have to say int pointer a and int pointer b so you have to say temp a is equal to star a and then here because you have to dereference everywhere so wherever the pointer comes you are going to say star b is equal to temp temp is an int where int value so you are not going to dereference that similarly when you are printing here also you have to make use of pointer see because here a and b are pointers okay they are not the integer variables in the main function so now if we execute the program we are giving 700 and 900 so in both the locations it is reversed because you are passing the address this swap changes everything in the location of the variables a and b which were in the main function that is memory was allocated in the main function you are passing the address so whatever changes are, is happening in line number 5 to 7 is happening in the memory address of the variables a and b allocated in the main function so the swap is reflected in the main function so i hope the concept is clear to you thanks for watching